Okay, so this question, um, being one of the last questions in the chapter, is actually pretty straightforward. It's nothing. If you've done some of the previous problems, it's nothing you've done, nothing you haven't seen before. Um, so they give us the um, density of an osmium piece, uh, of an osmium. I'm guessing, right? Um, and the um, they want us to express the density in grams per centimeter cubed. They they want it to be in grams per centimeter cubed, right? And so the liberty of putting some factors that we're going to need um, to do that using dimensional analysis on the right side of the page. So I got those um, uh, units of measurement in chapter one, uh, section, excuse me, section 1.3. Um, one thing we're going to need, though, is um, going from centimeters cubed or going from meters cubed, uh, um, centers cubed, that we're going to do that is we cube this conversion factor. So um, one cubed is going to be one centimeter cubed, um, which is equal to 10 to the minus 7 meters cubed, which is equal to 10 minus six meters cubed. It's come in handy when we're trying to convert this density to what they want us to convert it to. So the way that we're going to do, do that is we're going to um, get in, right? So this is five significant figures. That's pretty pretty neat. So we're going to have to round our five significant figures. Um, so we'll get to grams first, like, right? So we have 10 to the third Grams, remember I took right off that big table, and then we're going to convert um, meters cubed to um, – oh, yeah, I screwed that, that up. Give me one second. Right, so our meters cubed has to cancel out, so, so the 10 to the minus 6 meters cubed is going to go on top. So I still struggle when I get this. This, and I'm putting my units in the right place. Um, right so when you before you equate the whole thing, make sure that you're it's out. One kilogram cubic meters, so you're left grams per, per centimeter. And we want our answer in. Let's write that in blue. So when you do math, um, you get the answer as um, rounding to five significant figures. You get twenty. Point six one um, grams per centimeter cube. That's only four significant figures. So we c what we can do is we can add a zero because we have the decimal point. So this trailing zero is going to be significant. So we'll express the volume as this as significant figures, and that is the density. We'll express the density in grams per cubic centimeters as twenty two point six one zero five sig figs. We're all set. Great. So there's a part two to this problem is um, you give us this block that is uh, 10 centimeters by 8 centimeters by uh, 9 centimeters. And I'll figure out the mass. So that's pretty sure 40 sides of some kind of block, right? So that's going to be um, – I didn't write the sig figs out. These are all point zero point zero point zero fine. Um, so two sig figs, the answer is going to be 720 centimeters cubed, two sig figs. That's not the final section of the problem, but that's just, um, that's the answer anyway, right? 720. That's the volume of the cube. We have the new density in grams per cubic centimeter, which is 22.10 grams per cubic centimeter. Right? We have 720 cubic centimeters. Um, so the mass block is going to be um, 16 points. Nope, sorry. Sorry, 16 points. 279.2 grams. Um, and as we use um, 8.0 and 9.0, they have two significant figures. So we're going to have to express this at um, 
with two significant figures. So you could use that using scientific notation, or you could just round down to 16,000 with no comma, but no decimal. You can do 1.6 times 10 to the 4 grams. Have two sig figs, um, and that should be your answer.